Good morning, good morning, good morning. What? Live on a Friday? What on earth is going on? Well, of course, it is the last Friday of the month when we do always put in that little extra show for you. So welcome, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Um, normally we have a guest designer, but because this month we introduced something quite special, I think, and hope, and certainly you've been incredible with your response to it, which is our Pass It Forward project. We really wanted to do a show just dedicated to that. It's not gonna be a long one this morning, but it is just gonna be, this is what we're making, this is the ethos, this is what you can do, and this will be next month's project. So we're gonna put this in as a project once a month to give something back, okay? So this isn't a money-making exercise for us here or anything like that. What you will get are the, um, what you need to create whatever it is we're making each month so that you can then, um, with a free pattern or whatever, in there with it to enable you to do whatever it is we're making. And then that project can be passed on to somebody else to do some good passing it forwards. So that's, that's the whole ethos of the project. And it was brought about because of you because you guys are amazing. And just during the show, little things would happen. I'd just watch, you know, someone say, oh, I'll buy that for a charity that I support. And someone go, oh, well, I'll buy this bit and help you. And it just, because you are amazing, this is now happening. So this month, um, our very, very first one, we're gonna keep these projects dead simple, okay? So that they are, um, they're suitable for all, all sewers, okay? So there is not gonna be anything technical, anything difficult in here at all. Um, but then, you know, whether you pass this forward, for me, I'm going to pass this forward to a woman's refuge. Um, and if that's something that resonates for you right now, especially given lockdown and, you know, the increase in, uh, in women needing that help when they leave and they go with nothing, I can't imagine what that would be like. Um, so that's, for me, that's where this will be going. If any of you want to send them in and I can pass them on as well, then, you know, happy to do that as well. Um, so that's the whole ethos of it. Um, if you've got fabric left over, if it might be that you know there's a, a young mum that lives near you and you know she looks like she might have been a bit isolated and you know struggling with a baby or, or whatever or you just want to do something nice to put a smile on someone's face or you want to make something with your grandkids um, you know and have some time with them it's filled that criteria as long as it does something nice for somebody else that is the criteria as far as I'm concerned filled and that's what this these projects are for whether you want to um, you know auction them for your favorite charity or whatever it is however you want to pay it forward you do it that way so this month we're going to look at baby bibs and then I'll also show you how you can actually with any leftover bamboo toweling make up some nice face wipes or baby wipes or reusable baby wipes baby wipes are so expensive so expensive but if you can do reusable ones, I know it saved me a fortune, uh, absolute fortune, having reusable wipes. I uh, just shove in the wash and it's done. Um, by the way, anybody using the bamboo, please note, don't use a fabric softener with it because it just, whatever it is about bamboo that is so incredibly special and you've all got think everybody has got the the bamboo that feels like cashmere i mean it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so that's what everybody that's got this should have a half meter of a fabric and a big these are big fat quarters um, of the bamboo toweling which is just beautiful hopefully in color combinations that you love um so that's that now i did say um just tidying up. Uh, oh, bingo. I did say last, when we're on, Wednesday, um, that this week we would do something special for you for the weekend as well, because it's long weekend, and we have. So the, um, the Flutter Free code has now gone, and oh, SJ sent me a, she sent me a link for it. Bear with, I will find it. I will find it. So now... Oh, SJ, that's like a really easy one to remember. I'm a little bit disappointed. Nice, easy one for you all to remember there. Bank hole 10 to get 10% off all Natasha Makes products. So that excludes um, things like Juki, you know, sewing machines and stuff like that. Um, let's switch the iron on. Um, obviously, it's, it's not going to include things like that. But anything that is coming from us here at Natasha Makes that we hold and it's our stock and it hasn't been designed by anybody else, that will get you 10% off this weekend okay now don't forget monday 
Monday, but you do have to use that code. Monday is um, our, well, I've called it Festival of Caif. So let me just move a couple of things around so it looks a bit nicer. There we go. Um, for Festival of Quilts, I know that lots of you couldn't get there and that's completely understandable whether you didn't feel comfortable to uh, whether it was too far whatever your reasonings and you couldn't get to festival of quilts completely understand but Kaif and I were there and um, despite various photos of us looking very serious together uh, we actually had a right good giggle um, going around and Brandon scouting out things here there and everywhere uh, so we did we had a really good laugh and um, what we've brought for you tomorrow is nearly an hour long of myself and Kaif, mainly Kaif, at a festival of quilts, giving his take on certain quilts that caught his eye. So he had a little, a little recce for us the day before we got there, and he's he's come up with the ones that were really stand out for him for quirky reasons, different reasons, interesting textures, whatever it was, and you'll be able to see it. So this is um, instead of calling it Festival of Quilts, we've called it Festival of Kaif. So that will be Monday's show. And in order to celebrate all things Kaif, because we like to on this show, because we love Kaif and Brandon and Philip Jacobs, and we love the Kaif Asset Collective. The work they do is amazing. What we've done for you is, and these will go up on Monday for you, because I've kept, I kept promising you these. I've absolutely, uh, I keep on promising you these. And before I show you, let's see if we've actually got anybody watching because, you know, it's not a normal day, is it? So let's see if we've got anybody who's actually here. This morning, if I can find it, have I got my volume down? I might have, oh, there we go. Anyone, anyone? Oh, we have. We've got Bridget and Shirley. Good morning. And Myra, good morning. And Karen, hi. I finally got the chance to choose in live instead of watching on catch up. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And John, he says, love this. You're amazing. Oh, he says, thank you for your love and kindness. John, it's, um, it's, it's an absolute pleasure. And the thing is, is that you lot have shown me so much support and love and and everything that you need to get you up in the morning to do what we do um it's the very least that we can do the very least that we can do so no it's, it's it feels good to do it um morning rona good morning fiona and good morning julia um <laughs> oh yeah who is it that's at sandy balls rebecca is sandy balls i mean okay <laughs> morning elizabeth how are you uh, yeah sj you have disappointed us with a hugely easy code <laughs> okay um we wanted to make it easier as customer service will not be around to amend orders in case the code is entered incorrectly this weekend it is a bank holiday weekend they are wait for it having a life I know, right? <sighs> They're allowed. Morning, Geraldine. She says, hi, Natasha. Bamboo makes fab bibs and burping cloths. It's so soft. We'll catch up later. Love to you and everyone. Going to my daughter's now. Well, Geraldine, if ever there was a lady in need of bibs and burping cloths, it would be your daughter, right? Morning, Mandy. Morning, Jenny. Morning, Joanna. And good morning, Kate. Uh, <laughs> Kate just says, what is normal? <sighs> Nah, <laughs> I have no idea. No, not here. Oh, Jess says I'm a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I misread it being a little bit dyslexic. I was like, I'm a peasant surprise. <laughs> oh, how dare you? No, pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. That's the one. Um, and Yvonne, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I love that you all know where Sandy Balls is. That that makes uh, my day. Morning, Anne. A giveaway at Junction 36 on the M6. Not far to go then. Excellent. Oh, good. Morning, Jill. Morning, Grandy. Good morning, Becky as well. Watching today from sunny Brighton. Oh, we love a bit of Brighton. Um, what? That hippo on your desk. Jess, I just do this for you. I just buy... <laughs> Gemma describes it as... Um, 
It's got all my quilting clips in. Look, how cool is that? Gemma said that my style is um, fabulous gay man reincarnated who bought all the stuff. <laughs> like, I'll take that. <laughs> I think that's a fair assessment. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, <laughs> oh, Karen says, morning, Natasha. Very happy today. Going to get my hubby home from hospital later. Well, if ever there were reason to celebrate, hey. Um, and uh, Margaret and Pamela and Michelle, good morning. And Sherry, good morning. And Ven, good morning. Watching live for once. Got the house to myself for the whole day. For the first time since March 2020. And how weird does that feel? How strange. It's like today, there's just Inga cutting. That's it. The house is really quiet. The kids are at the, at the babysitters and Gemma's not here. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just really quiet. Steam's out working. It's all good. Julie's got a coffee in hand. Oh, good call. Oh, Sandy Balls is a holiday park in the New Forest. I'm learning every day. Um, John has experienced the, the hippo firsthand. He's like, yes, Jess. It's rather wonderful. I, I've had so many requests. Can I find it for people? Um, there are places selling them for extremely stupid amounts of money. I'll see if I can get them at a proper amount. Um, we're here. So Jane, Grandma sitting with Lillian Pippers. Um, hello. And um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. We all know. We all now know about sandy balls. That's all good. Nothing normal on here. No, 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 no. Right. Shall we have a quick flip through these? Because then you can have a look at these for Monday. Oh, morning, Tracy. Morning, Natasha from sunny Seaford. Do you know what? This time last week, um, we had fish and chips on the beach at Seaford, me and the kids. Um, and, uh, and how very jolly nice it was too. I have to say it was very, very nice. Um, yes, I'm country house kitsch goth and I love that hippo. Uh, yes, Jess, we'll talk about the hippo later. He's getting a lot of airtime, isn't he, this morning? <laughs> if everything is quiet, where are the cats? Laurie, that is a good question. Um, Malcolm obviously hates people, so because Inga's here, he's, or here he's already gone into his, um, into his cupboard. Oh, morning, Lizzie. And... Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Malcolm is weirdly, Mortimer is weirdly behaving this morning. It's a strange scenario, but there it is. There it is. Um, right, okie dokie. So, for Monday, for Monday, for Monday, let's have a little look. Right, so on the big prints, I kept saying this to you, I bought a lot of... I bought a lot of um, different colourways of my favourite, favourite, favourite CAFES, um, CAFE Facet Collectives. But, so the big prints, like the Philip Jacob prints, I've done in half metres because they are so joyful. They really shouldn't be in anything less, in my humble opinion. But, 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 for things like the Millie Fury, which we've got a lot of <laughs> because I heart them very much, and look at all of these very, very beautiful colourways. Yep, yep. I mean, yeah. You would have a blender for all occasions. They are simply stunning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Maybe eleven in there? Yeah, eleven. Eleven fat quarters of Millie Fury. They will go on sale. On Monday then you've got all the Millie Fury yeah, a lot of love a lot of love for the Millie Fury it makes the most beautiful blender uh, you can use it as a big print of course as well but also use it um, just just you see just that difference between those three they look so close and yet their colorways are different um, so it really is a bit special okay so that's number one Number two is Shaggy because, I mean, oh. so Shaggy is one of my favourite prints and I absolutely adore it, absolutely adore it. 
and therefore I have it in quite a lot of colorways. But unless you really rummage through the website, you might not have noticed. Now don't forget, of course, we've got 10% off all of these when they go live on Monday because it's bank holiday. See, now this colorway, oh, just you wait, just you wait, just you wait till you see this. How beautiful is that? They're just, they have got to be. And so I went, gosh, it's taken me months to get these. Um, I had to order these in specially from America. Special, oh, that's upside down, but you get the idea. Um, I had to order these in specially from America. And these are um, what are known as cave classics. So that means that they are prints that are not current. Well, they're not current, but they're not going to be taken out out of um, out of print. So it means that we can, 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 if you're willing to wait a long time to get it from the States, uh, you can actually still get them. And so I've got them. So they are, yeah, 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 right? All of those. <laughs> I'm going to say it, and it's not going to sound right, but we've got all the shaggy. <laughs> yep. <sighs> It's out there now. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit special, isn't it? It really is a bit special. Um, and I do, I heart it very, 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 very much. So they are the Shaggies. They're just, oh yeah, you'll get another good look at them as I fold them up neatly. Look at me being all neat and tidy everywhere, hey. Here we go. <laughs> it's just so vibrant and beautiful. It really is. It's just and such a pleasure to work with because oh, they feel great. They look great. You know, whether you're doing something larger scale. I mean, that can just be a bag, just be a cushion or whatever you want it to be. You know, it can, it can be that thing. It can absolutely be that thing. And, uh, and that just absolutely thrills me I love it absolutely love it um, here we go and this one here and yeah I hope that you love them too because they are absolutely stunning so what are you guys doing for the bank holiday because on Monday we start the big warehouse move and I'm a little bit daunted I keep trying not to think about all the things I haven't done and I should have done yet so um uh, yeah it's a it's a bit it's a bit overwhelming and then it's like when you move house I'm like oh are we ever going to know where everything is ever again but I'm hopeful that we will now what about this this is your brassica it's your cabbage plant for want of another word but my goodness again this is another one that comes in so many stunning stunning colorways and I've got a lot of them yes I have here they are so <laughs> aren't they beautiful and again these are coming in half meter bundles and there's just if you just need them in your stash like I say these are not easy to get hold of by any means and they will be live on Monday but it's just so that you can have a quick look now um, ooh. Ooh, ooh. yes 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 look at these and just don't they look so different in just different colorways absolutely stunning so again that will all be there all be there for you on Monday um, so I would I would really make the most of that and of course don't forget to use your bank holiday 10 that will still be valid on Monday as well for you so no problems there at all and what else what else what else oh I've got a couple more to show you I will try and speed this up sorry guys uh, do you know what <laughs> that speeds it up doesn't it there we go <laughs> sped up already Japanese chrysanthemums um, this is up there with Shaggy as being one of my all time favourites I mean look at that just look at that so these are the different colourways that we've got it in basically if we've got it at all in any colourway we've put it in the bundle um, 
and I think that these are just rather special. I got a lot of these in so that I could pop them in for our um, K Facet subscriptions because I wanted stuff that was an un wasn't easily and readily available to put in something that was striking and absolutely gorgeous. And so if you've got if you are a subscriber, know that you will have some other colorways coming in these at some point as well. Um, and they are all safely put to one side. So that is your Japanese chrysanthemum. And I'm quite proud of myself at being able to say chrysanthemum um, multiple times in a row. Yay! Go me! Go me, go me. Uh, there we are. Right. Oh, and the cactus flower. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, you see, this was the one that looked phenomenal with cork. It would just, and if you pull out that blue, oh, it really is such earthy, gorgeous tones. So these are the cactus flower. Now, these are ones, these are not new prints, but my goodness, when they get recolored and remastered, how striking they are. And these, of course, for those of you, and I love it um, because of some... <coughs> a member of the K Facet um, Collective Facebook group as well. And when I see like things like the Everlasting Bouquet, <coughs> excuse me, come up um, and I see that, you know, you guys have made it, <coughs> posted it there. Oh my gosh, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, it's just, it's so lovely. And these, of course, look stunning in the Everlasting Bouquet and those big quilts that Kay's been doing um, with the, just the striped backgrounds and the florals. <coughs> it is all the fluff <coughs> off the fabric. <coughs> just seeing if I've got a drink in here at all. No, I have not. You're just going to have to bear with me joking. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. Last one is um, one of Kaif's, actually, and it's Dreams, and it's just beautiful. And then we'll crack on with a, with a quick bib. And this is one, again, you can use these florals um, for if you're doing your own version of the um, Everlasting Bouquet. I actually want to have some harem trousers out of these. Is that wrong? It's a bit gorgeous. So let me know which ones your favourites are, which ones do you think you um, might treat yourself to. But this is the sort of thing that on the K Facet Collective site, you often see people go, does anybody know where I can get hold of this colorway? Because it's unusual. So it is kind of a matter of grab it when you see them. How stunning are these? You could do some beautiful fractured art with these actually as well. It'd be gorgeous. Um, but that's a whole other fun game to play. Right, okay. Should we make a bib? Are we all good? Are we all good? Does anybody need to know anything? We're all good. Oh, I still haven't made my top in shaggy. It's got to be one of my favourite prints and feels divine. It is, Elizabeth. It's utterly, utterly stunning. Um, Myra's switching to the big screen. That's okay. Um, <laughs> if I send an inappropriate emoji, YouTube is a minute or two behind us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, they are totally amazing. They are absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, oh. Sorry, Rebecca, she says, please don't tempt me with the brassicas. They're merely there. I am going to change my job description to just fabric enabler, I think. Oh, what do I do? What do I put them on there for? I can't see anything if I put them on there. Uh, so that's what I think I'm going to do. Just breathe during the move. It will all fall into place. Myra, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's one of those things. Inga asked me this morning, have you made a list then of everything? List? What? No, it's all in my head. I think maybe I need to make a list. And we had all the plans out yesterday, deciding where everything's going to go and this, that and the other. Busy, busy times. Okay, so when you get your fabric, if you want to prep it with any of your sprays, then do. Um,
the um, it's up to you actually which which side of the bamboo you use completely up to you and um, there isn't necessarily a right or a wrong way it's whatever feels right for you certainly one side is more textured than the other and when I've made my face wipes for taking off my makeup and they're great because they just get thrown in the wash as well uh, what I've noticed is that it's kind of nice to have have them done both ways round because then you've got you've got that option um, of whether you want one with a bit more scrub or one that's just you know smooth there we go okay and sometimes you know it might be that you're going to do these for face wipes or it might just be oh hello <laughs> or it might be that um, these are going to be face wipes or bum wipes for babies um, and sometimes you know you need a good old scrub because those baked beans and stuff they cling on when they get on the face uh, so here we go what I would suggest you do is this is a real quick make okay you will have your instructions and you have have you've got this on the back um, make a copy of it template of it whatever uh, that would be trace it off do whatever you need to do um, because I have met I might have made this once or twice before you know three or four times uh, <laughs> but it was one of those things when I was pregnant when I worked on sewing quarter so many of you sent me the most beautiful bibs and I was so grateful for them because you can never have enough because kids don't get any cleaner this is what, this is what I'm noticing and um and it's just nice. Emily's got bibs of all different colours. Now what I would say is, you want to do this on the fold. <laughs> I've actually already got a bit of makeup on this bamboo because it was the only thing I could find to wipe away my tears when um, John Cole Morgan uh, had his, his caterpillar incident. <laughs> I, and I was trying to hold it all together and it was going horribly horribly wrong um, and I was literally crying in the corner now have a little think about your placement here because it might be oh no you're not quite going to do it but it might be that you can fit it to that way okay so 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 we only need one for today that'll be fine um, on the fold draw around obviously you don't need to do it with such um, a ridiculous pen but for me it's easier for you guys to be able to see the seam allowance is included okay so do not panic about that now the other thing whilst we're here let's have a little look at a face cloth as well because there are different ways in which you can make them if you have a corner cutter which is the creative grids corner cutter and you want to do sort of a, a roundish one um, then you you know you can absolutely do that um, and what I would say is possibly mark off like that use your mark on there so look you've got that line there which is just nice and flush and you take it to that quarter mark there <coughs> flip it lay that along there so that you're working with the same corner angle like that and then you can cut that out and that makes a really nice shaped one if you've got the Fiskars, Fiskars surf cutter then they are really fabulous as well we'll look at that in just a second also and then get yourself your fabulous scissors if you've got and if you've made use of our um, our scissor offer that we've had on for so long now I don't know if that's finished now then you will manage to cut through all of those layers which is pretty cool
And the thing about making baby wipes like that is that you can just put them in a little Tupperware box with a little bit of water, maybe a little bit of lavender oil, and, uh, and it just makes a really lovely way to just keep everything clean. Bit of chamomile in there as well. And there we go. So what we now have is your basic starts to the bib. Now, um, Emily was very much our prototype for this, bless her. Uh, let's go pins today. just to get everything the right size and this 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 particular pattern has worked on her from being a really little baby to actually you know age to nearly three nearly a big three um has still worked an absolute treat now obviously you need to decide which side you want um to be your outer i'm going to have that one as my outer and then what i would say is just on the bottom just mark off your turning through gap there and again you can open that out and look it's a great size it's a really useful size and that's just using your your corner cutter but again like I say if you've got the Fiskars um, round one then you can use that and then it is just a question of stitching around now what I would say to you is Go quarter of an inch. Gosh, I haven't used this beast for a long, long time. Oh. So just lock off that stitch and go slow. Because we, okay, maybe not that slow. So whilst this isn't a difficult make, it does have curves in it. And that's just a case of take it slow and steady. But what you'll find is that the bamboo is really forgiving, really forgiving. So just start to, as you come round, do a couple of stitches. If you've got a needle down foot up function, Hey, get involved with that right now. That's going to get you around those corners quicker than quickity quick, which we like. Now, because we're using this bamboo, and it does feel like cashmere, I have to say, it really does. Um, it is, like I say, it is quite forgiving. You can snip into it around the curves before you turn through, but to be honest, you don't really have to. Here we go. Round we come. My, can you hear my iron shouting at me? I really needed to read the instructions to know why it shouts at me every now and then. But, you know, that would have been way too easy, wouldn't it? So as you come round... When you get back to where you started lock that stitch off oh I'm gonna lower the presser foot I don't know why I lifted it up what am I doing there we go it's weird I've 
<laughs> I haven't, haven't used this machine for a very, very, very long time because uh, Jane's, Jane's sort of taken over it. Right, so then get in, turn it around and turn it through. Like I say, if you wish to clip, then do. It's non-essential, that's for sure. If you've got one of these little gadgets, then that's all good. Anything like that is just going to help you just get round those corners. Here we go. Now, what I would suggest, because, because, because this, no word of a lie, is going to be loved and washed and loved and washed. What I would absolutely say to you to do um, is to top stitch around. And um, because you left your turning through hole there, you can flatten that off. If you've done it equally on the bottom and you're not, you're a bit scared of corners um, and curves and things, you can just flip that seam under and you can do it so that that's the base or if you want to spend the time um, creating that curve then do it's entirely up to you um, I would just pop a couple of little pins along there like that and you will be doing exactly and I do mean exactly the same with the wipes as well okay so there it is. Now, the other thing is I would also, and I don't know if I wrote this in the instructions at this stage, possibly just give it a little press before you then top stitch around. Now, don't worry, if you don't have a curved corner cutter to make it all, you know, beautifully, just do it square. Like, just do it square if you're doing this. Um, it, it's just, you've got the fabrics to make with what you will, and that's, that's the important part about it. Now, when we top stitch, we're going to go an eighth of an inch, okay? That means that hopefully we will incorporate... increase that stitch length a little bit we will incorporate that seam allowance so that we don't have to go and do anything fancy schmancy sewing that up or anything like that and because we're going to top stitch around the edge what that means is that when it's washed it will maintain its shape and it won't be one of those things where it gets all pulled out of shape as it goes Now next month, if you want to get involved with next month, we've still got a few of this month, by the way, I think. Uh, not many. Because we need to get some more bamboo in. But um, <coughs> next month is going to be a project whereby you can make four incubator, oh, hello, uh, four incubator quilts. Um, for ICV babies. And we think that's how many you can get out of it. Um, and I think, I can't remember how much we put it up for now, but it's not, it's not huge pennies, not for what you're giving back.
and that is that pretty much done now here's the thing what i found um, is that velcro gets caught up in if you have a hairy baby like mine i mean emily has the hair of an adult which is ridiculous because she's only tiny um, but if you do have um have children with hair then velcro just is asking for trouble so i use little cam snaps and um and that that works for me get your um template back just fold it on that black dot there and just take a little nick out of it because what I want you to do is use this again just for your markers for your for your clips okay and you're going to do that on one side that mark yeah. and then flip it mark it on the other side okay now cam snaps let me find mine what have i done with them i normally have them absolutely <laughs> they come in all sorts of different colors shapes and sizes oh what should we go with what should we go with what should we go with let's let's go with a gray shall we here actually no there's a nice purple that's the same as the rockets so you ooh, or maybe you want to mix and match the colors it's entirely up to you but it's a matter of finding which bits goes with what so i need one that pokes up and one that goes in and two pointy pointy ones oh i've got all the descriptions for you this morning um there i think they're called male and female i'll leave you to think about that and um so that is going to snap onto there which means that then you need to think about which way <laughs> ask me how i know um in fact let me show you these on a close-up which way they need to go in okay so look when you get them out your packet one has a dip that goes in and one that has a bit that sticks out Okay, and then they will they will come together an absolute treat. This is the time to get out your stiletto. Ooh, where is my said stiletto? What have I done with it? What have I done with it? <gasps> ah, phew. Here it is. Right, and you want to put your stiletto or your tailor's awl or whatever you've got through there to create that hole okay and then the one with the pokey pokey bit goes through and pick one or other those to go on the other side there with your tool you've got a curved bit to sit the outer part on and then this bit that squidges it all down squidge that is it done done finished done now what you now need to think about is that if that is going to go like that you need to have this now on that side and that on the base so that it can be just snapped on like so okay so once again we're going to get our um our stiletto but this time, this is going on that bottom side there and poking through there. This is going to be on top there. So cradle the, the round buttony bit on there and then squidge it. That is it done. That is how you put in a cam snap. I mean, it's, it's as easy as that. And there you have it. And what that does, if you put it in the positions that I have suggested, it creates that curve so that it sits really beautifully on that child's chest and around their neck. And of course, this is so insanely soft. Like I said, it feels like cashmere. They don't mind wearing it. And then when they've got something, just you've got your wipes to match. Um, it's a lovely gift set, actually, that and some wipes. But the, the, the ethos is exactly the same stitch around here lever turning through gap turn through top stitch that's it no matter whether you do that with your curved corner cutter to make ones that size whether you're doing makeup wipes and you're doing them circular it's exactly the same 
it's exactly the same. They, and that's what I wanted. I wanted to bring you something that was so simple and so easy that everybody could do it so that everybody could take part. Next months are up if you want to get ahead and get those so that we can stitch along together. Like I say, if you do want to send these in um, and you want me to collate them or if you've got some, if you've got an idea of where you want to send them, that's absolutely fine. But if I don't want you to make them and then just have them sitting there going, oh, I should really do something with that. You can always send them into us and we will pass them on. No problems at all. So that's it really. Uh, it, like I say, not not a long show, not 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 a biggie, but but important, really important. So um, I want you guys to go and have a fabulous um bank holiday weekend and go and enjoy yourselves and see family and do whatever it is that you need to do um, or so a bit of quiet time and so but do do that enjoy have a nice time think of us uh, moving a lot of stuff <laughs> on Monday uh, I'm going to go and join Gemma in a field and listen to lots of music for a couple of days and um, I will be back with you on Tuesday Tuesday we will be live again we won't have moved the studio by then we will still have the studio here but I think everything else will be at the new headquarters so exciting times please bear with us uh, whilst we you know move everything and then try and refind it you know what it's like but yeah have a fabulous fabulous weekend remember to use your 10% off code across all Natasha Makes products on the website for this bank holiday. Fill your boots. Have a lovely time. Bye-bye.